<clears throat> all right uh first and foremost i want to give her all praise glory and honor unto yahawah bahashem yahawah shai bahashem raka kodash and i would like to give a double honors unto the apostles and the elders at great millstone and uh, much blessing to brothers out there laboring in truth and in sincerity okay i've got a lesson here uh, the real and terrifying scale of nuclear weapons okay and i was watching an old video and i made a statement that nuclear weapons today are so powerful that they cannot be tested okay the last bomb to ever be tested was uh the russian uh, uh tsar bomb or tsar bomb okay and it was tested in uh 19 um i believe they said 1961 in the article i read okay and uh basically they were saying it was so powerful that the countries are uh, the countries nearby the island uh that got tested had their windows shattered and it was so powerful that that it sent it sent it sent shockwaves around the earth around the planet earth twice man okay and uh, that was just a one bomb and that's in 1968 in 1961 so now today we're in uh, 2019 and these things have only got stronger and have only got more powerful and they've only got more devastating man okay but all this this is all the instrument of the heavenly father all right now i'm gonna play this little clip here uh on this other article that i've got here uh how how here's how much deadlier today's nukes are compared to world war ii air bombs okay you had uh, uh the fat kid and uh is it a uh, fat kid the fat man and the little boy bombs that were dropped uh, uh on japan okay by america now they compare they compare uh uh the power of uh the power of the nukes today matter of fact before i go on the tar bomb uh i believe they said it was it was they had to reduce its power by five times it was the biggest bomb ever tested but they had to reduce its power by five times before they tested it man okay so now today you cannot test bombs or uh, nuclear missiles that are that have that 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 have that amount of power today man okay even just test, testing them will bring a lot of devastation so today basically now is they, 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 they put them in their arsenal but if or if war a nuclear war were to where to go then they would use them man. okay i'm gonna play this little clip it's uh the terrifying true scale of nuclear weapons and i don't know if uh if the actual clip is, uh, has a copyright notice on it but i'll play anyway and uh, if my video gets removed i'll have to do this video again okay but anyway let's go on Test in New Mexico by the United States in 1945, 2,475 nuclear weapons have been detonated across the globe. Over 85% of those detonations have come from only two countries, however, the United States and the former Soviet Union. Only two of those thousands of detonations were ever used in a war, the ones dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II by the United States. But those bombs were very small compared to modern weaponry. The Hiroshima bomb produced an explosion of 15 kilotons, or 15,000 tons worth of TNT. The bomb dropped on Nagasaki had an explosion of 21 kilotons, but how much bigger can nuclear weapons possibly get? The answer is, terrifyingly, much, much bigger. The largest nuclear weapon currently in the United States arsenal is the B-83, which can produce a blast of 1.2 megatons. To understand the scale from here out, 1 megaton is equal to 1 million tons of TNT, and that is equal to 1,000 kilotons. Remember that the Hiroshima blast was just 15 kilotons, so that means that the B-83 produces a blast 80 times more powerful than that. What I've been showing on this scale is only the size of the mushroom cloud that the bombs produced, so to further add to the scale, we're going to place the size of Mount Everest here and the average altitude of a commercial airliner that you would normally fly on here. 
So, the Castle Bravo bomb is the largest nuclear weapon ever tested by the United States. It produced a blast of 15 megatons, or about 1,000 times the scale of Hiroshima. But even that pales in comparison to the largest nuclear weapon ever detonated. In October 1961, the Soviet Union created the largest man-made explosion ever in human history when they detonated this device, known as the Tsar Bomba, here over this territory known as Novaya Zemlya. The bomb detonated with an astounding force of 50 megatons or about 3,333 Hiroshima blasts. It was so powerful that it almost destroyed the plane that dropped it, shattered windows as far away as Norway and Finland, and the shock waves created by the bomb circled around the entire Earth three times. But this test was actually just a scaled-down version of what was theoretically possible. Although never tested, the Soviets did have plans to create a bomb that would be twice as powerful as even the Tsar Bomba, a bomb so powerful that it would have produced a mind-boggling 100 megaton blast, or about 6,666 Hiroshima blasts altogether. To get another sense of scale, let's imagine that Times Square in New York City would be the epicenter of these blasts. You can test this stuff out yourself on the website NukeMap after watching this video. I'll provide a link for it after the end, but let's see the results first. First off, we're going to show the size of this detonation, which was caused by the recent North Korean test in 2013. Following this, here is the size of the Hiroshima detonation, which isn't really that much bigger, but let's move on to the B-83 bomb that we were talking about. As you can see, it would affect a much larger area than the Hiroshima bomb. But moving on past that to the Castle Bravo test, we can see how it truly dwarfs everything before it. But even that blast is incredibly tiny when we move on towards the Tsar Bomba as seen here. And then finally for our scale, we move on to how large the blast from the theoretical 100 megaton version of the Tsar Bomba would be. The blast would be so powerful, this is what the blast radius would look like if you were observing it from the International Space Station. So the question then becomes, should any of this really worry you? How many nuclear weapons exist today anyway? Well, in total, there are estimated to be around 15,600 nuclear weapons in the world currently, enough to destroy the entire planet dozens of times over. But only nine countries control that stockpile, and 92% of those weapons are controlled by only the United States and Russia. The other 8% of the global nuclear arsenal is controlled in descending order of numbers by France, China, the United Kingdom, Pakistan, India, Israel, and North Korea. Israel is, however, highly secretive about its nuclear program and has never publicly confirmed nor denied the existence of their nukes. It's just one of those things where everybody knows that they have them, but nobody really comes out and says so. Unless your name happens to be Mordecai Vanunu, a man who did reveal details about Israel's nuclear program and spent 18 years in prison, including over 11 years in solitary confinement. Also interesting to note, South Africa used to be in possession of six nuclear weapons because the past apartheid regime was afraid of the 79% of the population that couldn't vote and communists trying to overthrow their government, but they eventually agreed to dismantle all of them, which makes South Africa the only country to ever acquire nuclear weapons and then voluntarily get rid of them. Well, unless you don't count Ukraine, Belarus, or Kazakhstan, which all had nuclear weapons for a brief amount of time after they declared their independence from the Soviet Union in 1990. Okay, um, we're gonna stop it there. As you have seen, uh, the levels, the, uh, the, the devastating power that some of these nuclear missiles have. Okay, now let me read uh, the first couple of lines from this article. It says, nuclear weapons are straight up and terrifying, and one of those brutal facts of most of us try to forget for our own sanity. The bomb that fell on Hiroshima, ironically called Little Boy, produced an explosion of 15 kilotons, or equivalent of 13,600 tons, 15,000 US tons worth of TNT and one on Nagasaki was 21 kilotons that was over 50 years ago that, that was over 60 years ago okay so 60 years is a long time and ESO always invest in new technology they always put money on new developments and uh, 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 basically their technology keeps getting better and better and better and nukes have only become more and more powerful in the intervening years Today, the most powerful bomb ever detonated was called the Tsar Bomb, the Tsar Bomba. And you saw in that clip, they said uh, basically they have to, they have its power just so they can test it. Meaning they can, they can, it could be, it could have been even stronger than what the uh, uh, 
than that meant okay the ussr tested out this monstrosity in 1961 so you can imagine how many years it's been ever since that bomb and to this baby demon it has a force of 50 megatons which is equivalent to 300 3333 little boys or 45 million tons 50 million tons of tnt so you can imagine what little boy and fat man did at uh, the devastation that the devastation that they did uh, 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 to Japan. So now you can imagine the power that these nuclear missiles have today. Okay. Now the question is, why do these nations or why do these powers of the F have this uh, have this uh, have this uh, uh, arsenal of nuclear weapons? With them, men. Okay, why are they investing so much money into uh, uh in uh, in technology that can pretty much destroy the planet F? And I believe in this same SM clip, maybe towards the end, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and find it. Okay, they said um uh, the amount of weapons or nuclear missiles that they have is enough to destroy the planet F six times over, man. Okay, so these people they have weapons in their arsenal man, that can destroy the planet F six times over. I mean, the people and themselves completely destroy. They can destroy them on the planet F, man. All right, but why do they have that technology? Okay, and the answer is in the scriptures, man. All right, the heavenly Father gave them the, that, that knowledge uh, uh, to produce uh, to produce these weapons, man. Okay. Uh, this is Isaiah 54 and 16 and it says behold I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire now you know what the, the smiths used to do in the ancient times when they work they used to, uh, be, uh, they used to create swords uh, uh, battle instruments okay killing instrument and so on and so forth when they create armor okay but today you have your modern day smith the, the smiths that create your modern day uh, weaponaries men okay your guns uh, uh your guns your uh, knives and uh you know all this other technology that you have and you have your scientists man the ones that put all these elements together to create uh to create uh, uh to create uh, instruments that can take out a whole city in the one at the one time man okay so behold i've created the smith that blows the coals in the fire because you know in the ancient times when you know you have to be you know you be blowing the the uh the charcoal or whatever uh you're using the coal and the charcoal you know so it can be as hot as possible so you can heat up that metal and that uh, create the weapons and it says and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work okay so the instrument for his work is what man that uh, that nuclear missile so the heavenly father is the one that gave them uh, uh that knowledge to create uh to give them that knowledge to create uh that technology those are uh, that are uh, those weapons of destruction man and it says i have created the worcester to destroy which is the nuclear missile so the heavenly father is the one that's telling you that i have created these men to do this man okay He's the one that's created this. He's the one that's gave the knowledge to the scientists to create this, uh, 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 these weapons. Okay, and uh, ever since 19, 19, where is that? Uh, let's see if I can find the record. Ever since the, the biggest bomb since 1961 to be tested, you can imagine how much power they have today. So, okay, today they're a lot stronger than what it was in 1961 man okay why because technology today has increased okay they've had they have more understanding okay they've you know they have more understanding of how they can you know put these elements together they have they now uh they can be controlled because before I man you you had to like uh hiroshima nagasaki they had to take a send a plane over there and then drop drop the bomb and then the plane had to pretty much fly away as quickly as possible but today they don't have to do that now man today they can fire the missiles that's why it's called intercontinental ballistic missiles they can fire the missiles from one end of the earth to the other man all right they look the, the best kind of technology has increased man has improved okay um daniel 2 and 4 said but thou or daniel shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end and we're in the time of the end right now okay i said many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased man so the knowledge the understanding man, of technology has increased on the planet earth all right that's why now today you have your computers right in your phone all right in the before prior to that I mean those were only just used in the military man but now it's up is now uh uh given the some of the technology is given to the masses 
all right and this is why now from 1961 to this very day man the understanding uh, of the technology of building these missiles has just has just increased and improved and they became be they become better and better man okay because other other all these major camp uh, countries they have a uh, nuclear de defense nuclear defense uh systems in place so every time everybody is always gonna get one over the other men by creating weapons that can uh bypass those nuclear defense systems man all right so let's uh this is jeremiah 50 and 25 says the lord have opened up his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his ended nation so the lord is telling you he's the one that's to, that's done that He's the one that gave them the knowledge and he's the one that created these weapons of destruction, man. Okay. It says, for this is the work of the Lord of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. The land of the Chaldeans is America, man. Okay. Today is America because the Lord, that land must America, the Lord is going to completely destroy it, man. Okay. It says, come against her from the uttermost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as hips and destroy her utterly let, let, let nothing be left man because america is going to be destroyed completely man okay so yeah man so this this the, these weapons and these are uh, these are uh, uh, nuclear missiles that's the work of the heavenly father the lord gave them that technology to be able to build these things man okay because why at the end of because at the end this is this this is what the lord is going to use uh, to bring judgment on the planet f okay these nuclear missiles man okay because prior to that man the lord how did the lord destroy the earth the lord used uh the flood to destroy the earth and the peoples of it but this time means but this time the lord is gonna use a fire man and the fire is gonna be the in that fire the lord has put it in the minds of all these nations on their scientists to create these nuclear missiles because through world war three that's what the lord is gonna use uh, through world war three the lord is gonna use uh to end this uh this world or Esau's kingdom the lord is gonna use those missiles uh uh, uh to end it all man okay so this so this these missiles then then they haven't been created to be put in a museum man okay these missiles have been created because they are gonna be used at some point man all right um isaiah 3 34 and uh We'll start from two it says for the ended nation of the lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies he have utterly destroyed them he have delivered them to the slaughter okay it says their slain also shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses all right and the mountains shall be melted with their with their blood if you join the army man, the people that are in the army man, this is where they're going man. they're going into war and they're all gonna die man in that war man in that world war free okay if you read Joel the third chapter tells you all about it man okay verse 4 it says and all the host of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together as a crowd that is why you get uh, the mushroom cloud man okay the road the heavens being rolled together as a cloud maybe they go pay for all of the mushroom cloud on this there you go okay so this is all prophecy man okay this is all prophecy okay the nuclear missiles that's all in the scriptures is all in prophecy because eventually the lord is going to drive all you all these top nations to a world war free and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna wind up not having no choice but to use all the weapons that they have in their arsenal man okay you go back to see, uh isaiah 34 and 4 it says and, and and all the host of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll okay the mushroom crowd okay because it looks like a scroll well it looks like a scroll and when you when when that when that uh uh smoke and that fire starts getting rolled together okay it looks like you're it's really, uh, you're rolling a scroll and them ancient scrolls okay so that's how isaiah uh, described it as and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll and their host shall fall down meaning their army as a leaf falleth off the vine and as a falling fig from the fig tree okay say for my sword shall be birthed shall be bathed in heaven behold it shall come upon a dumia what's the lord sold these nuclear missiles man okay that's the work of the heaven father in the lands of the chaldeans okay it says of behold it shall come down upon idumia 
Idomia is Edom. Okay, they put there, they just, uh, they were trying to be cunning there and put Edom. Idomia, but Idomia is Edom. Okay, the Edomites today are you Europeans, you so-called white people, man. It says, and upon the people of, the, upon the people of my curse, man, because you are a cursed people, man, to judgment. All right, so that's what, uh, that's what those uh, missiles are for, man, to bring judgment. Okay, it says, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is it is made fat with the fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats and with the uh, the fat of kidneys of rams. For the Lord hath have a sacrifice in Bozra and a and the great and the and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. Okay, the uh, the the, uh, the blood of lambs and goats and the fatness of kidneys of rams representing for uh, uh, is a, is a. Is uh is all these people that are gonna get are gonna are gonna die uh in that nuclear destruction man all their armies okay America in the land of in the, in sacrifice in Bosra and the great slaughter and the great slaughter in the land of Idumia is America man okay because the Lord is gonna completely waste that land man completely destroy it man using that's why you see Russia man Russia have go up they have even more powerful nuclear missiles compared to America man. Okay, the Lord is put installed that in their spirit to create those things, man. Okay. So this is all the work of the Heavenly Father, man. The Lord is put that put that in their minds to create these things so that they can use it, man, uh, to destroy themselves, man. Okay. Um Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24 and 18 and it says and it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into a pit. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For the windows of heaven on high are open, and the foundation of the earth do shake. Because the Heavenly Father is coming to shake the planet earth. Okay, and, what, and this is the instrument that the Lord is going to use to shake the planet earth. Okay, and it says, In that day, I say, In that day shall, shall a man cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they have made each for themselves to worship. To the moles and to the bats okay because sweet you know you go sweet jesus today and then all these different religions that you worship none of them are gonna save you man he says to go in the clefts of the rocks and in the tops of the red rocks because you got people that have got the, uh, these different bunkers in the mountain sites and uh you know you know in the world in the world somewhere okay but a lot of you man you're gonna die anyway man because you've, you've seen how powerful these missiles are man okay none of those things are gonna save you man the elites they they, they understand these things and because they they are you know they are trillionaires man okay um okay the elites and the the elites have, have trillions of money they can they can they, they've got all type of escape routes I mean they go uh, underneath the water escape routes out of space escape routes okay <clears throat> they, they they understand the places that will not really be touched by nuclear bombs man so this you know they've, they've got all those things where they can go and hide out somewhere okay to go, it says uh it says for the fear of the lord and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake the earth terribly okay so the lord is coming to shake the earth terribly all right and that's the instrument which the lord is going to use to shake the earth okay back to isaiah 24 and uh and and uh 19 it says the earth is utterly broken down the earth is clean dissolved the earth is moved exceedingly okay the earth shall rear to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon him and you can imagine you can imagine a thousand of these things been being uh, detonated on the planet Earth at the one time. Okay, you can imagine that, man. You can imagine how, 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 because just the one, man, they hold, pretty much everybody on the Earth felt it, man. Okay, so you can imagine when, th when thousands and thousands of them have been detonated, man. Okay. It says, and it shall fall and not rise again, man, because you go landmass, that will never rise again in America. Okay, when those nuclear, because that's that's the one that's gonna be hit the most with nuclear missiles, man. Okay, after that, man, it, it will never, it will never be dwelt, it will never be dwelt there ever again. Okay, 
and he says and it shall come to pass in that day that the lord uh, that the lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high because the elites they're gonna manage to escape uh escape uh this destruction in the in in, in, the, in the different hideouts that they have okay and the kings of the earth upon the earth okay and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in a pit and shall be shut up in a prison and after many days shall they be visited okay because at the at the end of the at the end of this destruction we are the ones that are going to be set up empowerment and we're going to go around the earth and gathering all these different people and putting them in slavery man all right uh revelation 12 and uh revelation 6 and 12 and it says and i beheld when he had opened up the sixth seal and lo there was a there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth the stars of the heaven are the what the nukes man okay he saw them he described them as stars falling even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together see again it describes that mushroom cloud again that mushroom mushroom cloud as a scroll just like it is in this picture man says so, and the heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together man that you know that when the clouds are spinning and it starts rolling together okay and every mountain and island were moved out of their place because of that impact man okay it says and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and the bond men and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains man because you go people men that are preparing men are preparing for our uh, uh uh for if if for if if anything if if all hell breaks loose man okay they're preparing many for the world if we go to war uh, to war okay you got people the, the politicians and the queen and they are the elites and everything they've got escape routes and places that they can hide in case of a nuclear war man the average man out there man hasn't got anywhere to hide man they're just gonna die man okay verse 6 they say and say to the mountains and rocks for on us and hide from us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne okay who yahweh shai man and from the wrath of the or see on the you know yahweh and yahweh shai okay and from the wrath of the lamb okay for the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand who shall be able to stand man when this thing starts going on man okay this is why when the lord comes to deliver us from this uh from this destruction man, we are literally gonna have to be taken out of the planet earth into outer space man okay we're gonna watch this destruction from outer space okay he says for the great day of his wrath is come and we shall be able to stand all right uh, zephaniah 1 and 14 and he says the great day of the lord is near it is near and has death greatly man this is why in the news man you're constantly seeing all these people man constantly will constantly oh, they constantly hearing the drums of war in the news man he says even the voice of the even the voice of the day of the lord the mighty man shall cry there bitterly that day is a day of wrath a day of trouble and distress a day of wasteness and desolation a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and thick dark darkness man all that smoke from 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 those missiles man okay a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fence cities and against the high towers man what's that man all these top nations man beginning with america russia europe china all of them man okay it says and i will bring distress upon men that them that that they shall walk like blind men they sh they have sinned against the lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as dung neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the on the day of the rose wrath man because you ain't gonna pay nobody man to save you that day man okay everybody for himself man okay but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy okay number one america okay for he shall make shall, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land 
okay so the lord man is coming to bring nothing but destruction man okay so this is and the lord has installed that uh, uh that understanding in your spirit man so that you can create those missiles that you can destroy your own cells man all right Isaiah 13 and 13 therefore i will shake the heavens and the earth shall be removed out of a place in the rough in the wrath of the lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger man when the the, the, the day of his fierce anger man is that destruction man okay yeah how shall i said he's coming to bring uh to bring fire on the earth okay and he says what will i what will i if it already be kindled man so these nations when yeah how comes back man these nations are gonna be already at war okay yes. and everybody is gonna bring out their new everybody's gonna bring out whatever they have in their arsenal man bring out the whatever abilities of new claiming so that they have man okay uh mm. Okay, uh, Joel 3 and 15, it said, The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. Okay, the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord shall be the hope of his people and the strength and the strength of the children of Israel, man, because we're going to trust in the Lord that he's going to deliver us from this destruction that's coming, man. Okay, when the Lord comes to shake the earth again, all right so the lord indeed man this please put that this put that understanding in these nations in your spirit man in, so that when you so you can create the very same instrument that you that the lord is gonna use to uh, to put you down man to destroy you man okay so this is why the planet earth have nuclear weapons if you ever wondered why the people of the, the all these top nations have nuclear weapons that is why man because the lord is gonna use that to bring judgment against you man okay so anyway uh you know uh, there's there's laws of scriptures that you can bring on the nuclear destruction okay but you know i only just brought the ones that i felt were necessary at this time and i hope that was edifying and until next time i'll say shalom